Hi everyone, welcome to another video from the Market Outlook. So in today's video, we'll be looking at the S&P 500 index. So this is the daily chart. Currently, S&P 500 is trading at about $4,519. And it previously reached a high back in the beginning of this week of a high of about $4,548. So this has really given us a really big all-time high. And you can see in the past historical price action, has been making higher highs and higher lows. And these higher lows are further supported by the 50-day EMA. So you can see over here, it's really being supported, multiple retests. I can see buyers just coming in all the way to buy prices higher and higher. So right now, some people might be concerned that the market crash is happening, but based on this price action alone, you can see that there's not really much need for concern right now because you can see that for price action wise, it's really very bullish right now. Other than price action, if we look at the EMAs, is in full trend if we look at the indicators you can see the trader dynamic index so this yellow line is the market sentiment line so this yellow line is essentially really a very bullish indication holding above the 50 level where you can see that there's a lot of buyers coming in and you can see the rsi which is the green line so this rsi is the momentum indicator that shows that there's still buying momentum coming in so if you have not realized by now there is a trend line that i've drawn over here so in this trend line, this is the bearish divergence that I've signaled out. So as of now, there's no cause for concern. Reason being because that in the past three days, there has been a break of this bearish divergence. And in my past experience, if there is a break of any divergence, prices tend to go in a positive way. So there's this break and prices should be able to go back higher. But of course, right now you can see prices, they are breaking below divergence. So it's really crucial to see how well price action is able to keep above this divergence line so this bearish divergence is a form of risk that you should pay attention to of course right now as i said my stand is still that s p 500 is still bullish but we do have this risk where there's this bearish divergence forming so you might ask when will i be short in s p 500 i'll be short in s p 500 if there's a very clean break of this 50-day ema so if prices break this 50-day ema retest a bit and continue down if I see bearish price action in this area, I will be looking to short the S&P 500 and hopefully get it to this level, the 200 EMA or the second take profit target of 800 EMA. Of course, I think right now I will not be shorting because there's no entry signal yet and the price action is really just very bullish. So that's something that I would like you to take note and S&P 500 really is just going to grind higher. If I were to go to the weekly time frame, you can see that the 8 EMA held up by the price action is really trending very well and is really holding very strongly. So I am still very bullish about the S&P 500. Just that when we see this bearish divergence on the daily time frame, you can see that there is some risk and there is some bearish momentum coming in. So do take note of that. So with that, I've just ended my quick analysis of the S&P 500. If you did find value in this quick short clip, do remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Trade safe everybody.